Okay, so I thought I'd give everybody a tour of the uh, wiring on my layout. This is obviously underneath my layout. Uh, I've got it on its side right now so we can uh, take a look at it. And uh, so uh, what I'm going to show you is uh, everything that I've got here and what it does. So I've got a power strip. Start off with I've got a power strip. Uh, it's a nine port power strip. And I'll have uh, links to all of the different parts that are on my layout uh, in the description uh, for this video. There's two uh, uh, DC adapters on, on, that are plugged into it. Uh, one goes up to a dedicated uh, distribution port for just uh, 12 volt accessories. The other one goes up to the uh, DCC controller, which is an MRC controller. Uh, and uh, that provides track power. Uh, and signal uh, data to uh, all the different devices that are on the layout. Now, uh, what happens is uh, there's uh, uh, on the on the layout there's you're going to see a, a big black cable that runs all the way around the layout, and this is actually a network cable, and it runs from the MRC controller. It runs up to a two into one RJ45 adapter here goes across to uh, uh, the same R R RJ45 adapter here. There's one in, in the corner on that side and one on the corner down there. <coughs> and what this does is it allows me to take and plug one of the uh, you know one of my controller devices into any of the four corners of the layout. So that's pretty nice. So uh, this can actually come in and it plugs in right here and, and as you can see I've got I've got power for the uh, for the layout uh, put that over the side so uh, like say I can plug a controller into any one of the four corners and, and uh, so that makes it sort of convenient uh, and especially when I you know expand expand the layout into uh, and, and go further on uh, that will become really handy uh, uh, so I can expand the layout that way. Uh, for, uh, uh, like say for the, my DCC controller, this is an MRC DCC controller. Uh, it's, it it uh, sends power, or the signal power and track power to this little blue box right here. Uh, one of the, uh, uh, it has three ports on it. It's only, I'm only using one. I've got, this is a, I've got a spare wire that's, that you can maybe see right here. Uh, that's for future. But it, the, 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 uh, the power comes up to this distribution block, which then bounces over to this distribution block. And as you can see, all the blue and white wires that you see on the layout everywhere are going to uh, different places on the track. What I do uh, on my layout anyway is pretty much everywhere that I've got a switch, I have a power, uh, a power uh, Connector on each side of the switch on each one each side of the of the switch to uh, uh, to give me good solid power everywhere. Uh, so that's what these are doing. That's what all these blue and white wires are going everywhere that you see a blue and white wire. They're they're going off somewhere. Um, the other thing that you can see here is uh, uh, every these uh, these two are digits uh, switch controllers. Uh, there's, they can control eight uh, Kato switches. Each one can control eight Kato switches. Uh, they, uh, uh, they go from each one of these uh, ports goes through uh, an adapter that takes the three wires that are on the, uh, the Digis uh, controller uh, and takes it and routes it through this, which converts it to the two wires that are for uh, the Kato switches. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, so that's all the red and black wires that you see here are wires that are going to the Kato switches. And I'll explain this uh, this little split right here in a second. So uh, the other thing that's on the layout are these two black boxes. These two black boxes are the reverse loop controllers. They're from MRC, and uh, they allow me to reverse uh, through my figure eight that I've got. You can see that on another video. The, it takes my the figure eight that's on the track and allows me to reverse the direction of any train that's on the track uh, just by taking it through that figure eight. Uh, the, the, MRC, the MRCs, they, they've got uh, two connectors. There's, there's one here uh, and then one here. 
and then I've got one right here and right here. So those are the wires that come off of the MRCs and end up on the uh, uh, allowing me to reverse the, the directions of the of the loop. Um, that's pretty much everything as far as uh, as far as uh, the lad is concerned. Uh, this 12 volt is, is going to be used. Uh, uh, I'll be branching off that for for lighting on the top on the layout for uh, buildings, you know, accessories, uh, street lamps, you know, things like that. I'm going to eventually light up the entire layout, so that'll be pretty nice. And then one thing I wanted to discuss was uh, you, I see a lot of people that are doing soldering work on their layouts for uh, things like uh, like uh, uh, extending wires. As you'll see, I've got a solder connection right, or a, a, a splice connection right here. Uh, I've got a, this is this is going to be a splice connection. Uh, I've got splice connections here, here. Uh, this is a splice connection right here, which I use to shorten this uh, this power uh, connector uh, so that uh, it's nice and clean. Uh, so everywhere that uh, that you see a splice connector, I do not solder uh, my 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 splices at all ever. Um, I have never spliced used solder to splice wires. Even when I was working on cars and car wiring, uh, I didn't use uh, splice connectors. I what I do is 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 uh, uh, cut the ends of the the, the wires and and uh, you know strip the wires on the ends and, and make it enough long enough to where I can twist the, the wires together, and then I what I do is I put a piece of heat shrink heat shrink tubing over the uh, the connection, and then I I, uh, I shrink it with heat, and uh, that uh, makes an unbelievably strong connection. And you don't have to worry about uh, with soldering. What happens is uh, the copper has a tendency to get brittle, and uh, it can break easily, especially if it's moved around a little bit too much. It'll break real easy. Whereas if you twist tie the wires together, uh, it, it doesn't uh, doesn't have that problem. It's like uh, like you know when you're working in a house uh, with uh, with home electricity, you know with home wiring, uh, you don't use solder for that for that wiring. You use uh, a twist hot, you use a, a you know a twist on a connector, uh, so that uh, uh, you don't uh, heat up that wire because uh, in a house uh, that wire can get brittle, it can move around a lot, and then you've got a really good chance of, of it starting a fire. So uh, this is uh, this is a really really reliable connector, and it's something I recommend everybody at least give a try, and uh, and see how it works. Uh, this this is this is literally the last connection on my on my layout that I've got to do. Uh, so I just wanted to show you, uh, like say this, these are just two little uh, heat shrink tubes and one on each side. I'll twist, twist these wires together and then uh, heat it up with uh, cover it with the, 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 uh, the shrink tubing and then uh, heat it up and uh, that, that'll take care of that connection. So that works really well. Um, I think that's, uh, that's pretty much everything that I've got on the layout. Uh, my next video is going to be uh, a tour of the top of the deck and uh, all the different uh, parts that are that, that I've got uh, that are that are actually removable. Uh, I'm going to show you every, everything off of the layout and then putting uh, putting everything back onto the layout. Uh, that's uh, that's going to be uh, that'll be pretty sharp. Uh, I think everybody will be a little interested in that. Uh, but uh, other than that, uh, I hope everybody is staying safe and. Uh, that uh, you're enjoying the videos, uh, please subscribe um, uh, to the channel and uh, I will talk to you all later. Uh, this video is actually a replacement of an earlier video. Uh, I just I didn't like that, that earlier video so this is a replacement for that video. Uh, I think I'll, this is uh, a little bit better uh, explanation of, of everything that I've got going on. Uh, so everybody have a good day and I will uh, talk to you soon.